Sanderano do Pacef será Jesus. Jesus. Aleluia. Amen. Ti chakumbira kuti tiverenge scripture yedu Joshua chapter number 14. I will kindly ask um, ourselves to turn our Bibles to the book of Joshua chapter number 14. Joshua chapter number 14. We will go through just a few verses. Maybe read this verse number 6 and verse number 7. To verenga verse 6 and 7. May the good Lord bless the reading of his word. Amen. This evening, in just a short time, I want us to look at um, the story that we first written. Caleb says, I, I was 40. During the time or by the time where we were sent as spies. As equals, you know, you have an 85. But now I am 85. Zorela Kuti, Panema Kore 45, Anga Adarika, Ava Kunoshora. Which means they, they, they are now 45 years after the time of them being spies in Jericho. Dinofara no Kuti, Musova Kanoshora. I am happy for one thing that the day that they went as spies. Hebron Raiva Mount Hebron was still there. Yeah. And the surrounding areas were there. I go na kungo sara koku Hebron. He could have just remained there at Hebron in the first time. But the question now is why is it that you came back, Caleb? The question now is why is it that you came back, Caleb? If you knew that Horeb is your inheritance. And God had already spoken that wherever your feet, so if your feet is going to step upon, I'll give you. Therefore, where your feet have stepped upon, God has given you. The surprising thing is you are now going back to Joshua. What? Joshua. And you said to him, God said, through his servant. Ah. My God. What God said, you know. That your inheritance, you know it. Can I ask a question? Are you aware of your inheritance in the Lord? When somebody is And Caleb was so amazing. He goes to Joshua. Joshua. And he says, Joshua. God said. So. Now, Joshua, bless me. Caleb. Mm -hmm. I know that God mm -hmm. spoke to you. So what? And I was there. All right. But today, Joshua, eh, I want you to speak a blessing to me. All right. So that I will go and take my, my place of inheritance. In 
Shumira ja Shumira. Listen to me. Yes, my messages are going to preach and I know them. Message yangu ndio ino. And my message today is this. Kushangela kwa mari. It is in God's wisdom. Kuunza Joshua pana Kale. Bring Joshua to Kale. Kuunza Moses pana Joshua. Bring Moses to Joshua. Joshua msakanganwa. Don't forget Kana Moses agenda mtende. Joshua was there when whenever Moses would go into the tent. Kana Moses wa buda mtende. And when Moses is coming out of the tent. Not Joshua wa isarante. And the Bible says Joshua would remain in the tent. Jari kusara and is utari kusarire. We are not told why he will remain behind. So Joshua unachika mchano player. Joshua is playing a certain role. Can I tell you something? Ah, is not our confidence. Can I tell you something? We are washing the water. The spirit of the Lord is telling me that. Usa oma moyo wako kana varanda ba mwari ba chikushumi. Don't be stiff naked when the man of God is alone. Ah, oh, only one chief has a marvelous work. You are never going to achieve the things of God alone. Yeah, bro, no noise, no fire. You went nowhere, hey, bro. Yes. Siwa shakata ko ya mari. Joshua, but you must wait for Joshua. Joshua is come to speak, and Joshua Atareva is speaking. Joshua Atareva. Joshua is speaking, and they cannot change the Atareva. The moment he's finished, we finish his Hebrew. You are going to your own Hebrew. Don't go to the house of the Samoyo. about you reference here mari wangu anofanira kutaura newe my god kwanti you speak to you so that you can stop to speak to ya mario this order so manerano this evening na kaya ko iripo your inheritance is available ndaka kudoka kuno kumberi am 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 done na kaya iripo your inheritance is available asikana joshua kanyarara but when joshua is silent asibune it will never come out mutendera We just want to read two scriptures take a full bell so that we can move on. The same chapter chita over to which date you are going to live in the 12 and we visit verses 11 and 12. Now to wait in verses which are and it reads in English. Man what it is going to Yet I am as strong today as I was on the day that Moses sent me. My strength now is the same as my strength was then. For war and to go out and come in. Verse 12. Thank you. Now therefore give me this mountain uh -huh. of which the Lord spoke in that day. For you heard in that day how the Anakim were there and that the cities were large and fortified. If the Lord will be with me, then I will be able to drive them out. Just as the Lord said. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Where we have read today. Yesterday we spoke about the mountain. And we, we realize that that there are mountains which are not on there are mountains that you can just pass by the children of Israel had mountains that they were but there was, there was a promised mountain there was a mountain which was meant for their inheritance there is a mountain for, for the inheritance of their lifetime and God speaks about it Someone should have get tired. But I don't know what I'm talking about. But in this moment where we 
afraid. I don't think I'm going to go to the house. He says, even though 45 years has passed by, it's like I'm aging. I see, I remember something. I was 45 years. Yes, the 45 years ago. But what I had that night, and how I felt then, I still feel it. The reason is this. May the good Lord bless us. I remember the word of God in the book of Samuel. At that time, David took some soldiers to And the Bible says when they returned from war, he reached a certain place. And they saw that the place was burned. Everything was destroyed. His wife was taken away. But I don't mean and the people's desire to stop was up in arms with terror. But there's one thing that I love from him. He stood David. And he remembered. And he remembered. And he remembered that God can do something. He went back to the king. And he says, Oh my God. The word of God says, I don't know that I sing a commotion. They remember that we don't know about the mountain. Can I tell you something about the mountain? For me, Urimo, there are riches in there. You might not know until you get to it. Because there are issues. My brother, whenever you might not know, but you couldn't go to the airport. God needs to go to the airport. The, the, word of God. the last scriptures of God. The word of God says, God is able. God is able. God is able. The mountains are able to call the God is able. God is able. Why do I say this? Can I say this to somebody? Yesterday I said, two months to go. 
They are only two months left man to go. Only two months left to go. Only two months left to go. Only two months left to change. God can change your situation. We don't want kenovas. That this year was sick. In 2024. In 2024, I'm still sick. Hey, April. But the April. When I get to something is going to happen. This April. I said this April. Do you know the, the, the problem or the challenge with the airport? That place it was a place of war. No person, animal, or any creature which was allowed to be in the Because anything that drew closer to the battlefield, it would die. But no matter the time. But Caleb says it, it was said 45 years ago. It doesn't matter what people are saying. What God is saying. God knows. It was waiting in the because of everything. The word of God says, the word of God says, you are able, not only that, to drive them away. God was speaking about the Amalekites. And the word of God says, you are able, to drive them away. You are able, to move from where you are to You are able, you are able, to come out of your situation. You are able, to move away from the Jehovah that God can take you out of the world. Let me say to The word of God says, when he returned with the report, when you go back, just a bit. It was not a good report. It was speaking about the destiny. It was speaking things that were impossible. But because God is able, he says, I've given you. You are going to take them away. Let me say this. 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 There are times when you are going to take them away. But let us you have seen But God is saying, Don't look for him. Can you try my God? This evening, can you try my God? So come on. Can you try my God? 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 Can you try In the name of Jesus. Mountain shall be removed. This mountain shall be removed. This mountain is mountain.
bless you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. My pleasure and honor to stand before you. I'm not going to do much tonight. I came here to pray for these two things the servants of the Lord have spoken. I want us to pray this kind of prayer tonight. What is it that has been lingering in your life as an inheritance? An inheritance will always come when the owner of the estate is dead. When he is dead, he must have written something down about you. When something is prescribed unto you, you must always pay attention to everything that is attached to your name. You must pay attention to everything. Uh, that is your name tag on it. So that's why Caleb says to Joshua. When Moses, the servant of the Lord, Moses Muranda Wangari spoke to you, not about you. When he spoke to you about me, I was there. I listened. I heard it. It had my name on it. I've been sitting in the shadows. I've been quiet all along. But for the past 45 years, But today I came to remind you It was about me It was about me oh, Come on, look at your neighbor and say it was about me Come on, I want to hear you tonight It was about me When the Lord spoke He spoke about me Joshua, Joshua, it is time up. Give me what belongs to me. Let, let me read this scripture for you. And explain a few things. I love explaining things. Second Samuel chapter 2. Samir Wekutanga, Samuel chapter 2. Samir Wekutanga, chapter 2. Verse number 1. Verse oh, yeah. 1. The man of God passed through that verse yesterday. And it came to pass after this. Okay. And it came to pass after this. That David inquired of the Lord, saying. Shall I go up to any cities of Judah? And the Lord said unto him, Go up. And David said, Whither shall I go up? David And he said unto him, Hebron. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, before we explain about what David is dealing with here, the first thing that I want us to know is that David is coming out of a life on the run. David is coming out of a life of a run. David and what is chasing David is not a stranger. The one after David's life is actually his relative from his relative Benjamin. David. 
He is not being chased by a stranger. He is coming out of a life of running away. And in his running, there are many things that are taking place. When this relative is chasing him away, the Philistines join his relatives to chase after David. How can I say somebody say amen? Hallelujah. Can I hear somebody say amen? Hallelujah. The things that might be chasing after you are not strange to your family. The things that are after you are not strange to your child. The things that are after you are not strange to your nation. The things that are after you are not strange to Africa. The things that are after your life are not strange to humanity. But listen to what God says. When his relative had just died. of a run. <laughs> a man who seemed to be defeated <laughs> all his life. <laughs> a man who is growing up in the forest. <laughs> Why? Because his relative from the tribe of Benjamin <laughs> is chasing after him. <laughs> and God says, you are not going to a plain field. <laughs> You are going to a high place. You are going to go high. Even if you feel like you are weak. Even if you feel you are defeated. You are not going to walk on the plane. You are going to go higher. To Hebron. Hebron. You will go to April. Listen to me. It's one, it's one, it's one. There are two things that I did. There is a thing that happens. And the place where it happens. A thing and a place. A thing and a place. A thing and a place have always a proclivity to repeat itself. May I say that again? My sister, listen to me. Anything that happens in life have a proclivity to repeat itself. Only when you remember to go back to if you are here with me, please wave your hand and shout out. There is a proclivity of repetition. This it seems to me like whatever happens, it leaves its spirit. Where it happens. When a thing happens, it lays its eggs in the place where it happens. 
My God. Anybody hearing me tonight? Whatever happens in life, cheap in and cheap is not a bad this is the reason why don't you consider when David is inquiring of the Lord God says go to Hebron because at Hebron at Hebron at Hebron And when he was up there, when he was up there, he started singing. Not by mighty, not by man, not by mighty, not by man, by my spirit, by He's now singing from the top of the mountain. And then Caleb died. Caleb broke off, and he left the spirit of conquest of us. On Hebron, Papa Hebron. And here comes David. David anointed by Samuel, to become king of Israel. Not king of Judah. King of Israel. But in this particular time, he is not yet king of Israel. He is just king of Judah. That God says something must be done to you. You must be taken to a place of conquest. And that place is called Hebron. Because something happened. And the eggs were laid. You then go up that mountain. In order for you to do our when you come down, no nation can stand before you. No power in heaven can stand before you. I hear God say unto him, Lord, battle shall be arrayed against you. That is okay, you must listen and prove the point. When a thing happens, when a thing, look at the name and say, when a thing happens, come on, say it louder, come on. When a thing happens, when a thing happens, it leaves its spirit. There. In the book of Genesis, the book of Genesis. In the book of Genesis. Genesis chapter 22. 22. Verse number 4. To end up a verse 4. On the third day. Suare chitat. On the third day. Suare chitat. On the third day. Suare chitat. God had said to Abraham. Go to a place. Go to a place. They are not hearing me. God said to Abraham. Go to a place. When you get there. Do a thing. But when you get there, you must understand. You are not the first person to get there and do a thing. So God says, I will show you one hill. There were many hills and mountains. The place but God said when you come close I will show you the actual heat I will point to you 
It's a the actual place. It's a Abraham traveled three days. And three days with this boy and this woman. And the Bible says while he was yet far away. While he was yet far away. He saw the place. He saw the place. He saw the place. Yet far, yet he saw the place. What was the place name? It was Moria. What is Moria? Moria is not Moria. 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 Is Salem. What is Salem? Salem is Jerusalem. Jerusalem is Jerusalem. And in the land of Salem, there was a king. Whom the writer of the book of Hebrews tells and us about. And he says, in the days of his life, he prayed. He prayed. Clark says when he explains the Bible, he says, he says this was a delight to my He says, what made Abraham to identify the place from far off? It was because when the king of Salem would kneel in that mountain and pray, the cloud of God's presence will descend upon the mountain. And when the king of Salem was transferred from this world. Yet the clouds, the glory, lingered on the mountain. Abraham was still far off. He saw the glory. And he said, Not every other mountain. This one. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's leave Abraham. That is the Abraham. Let's take David. And they're going to David. What we're reading about. And they're going to David. Sin against God. David, what does that mean? Look at him and say he's about to pray. Look at him and say he's about to pray. Look at him and say he's about to pray. Look at him and say he's about to pray. David had sinned. David, I'm about to pray. By numbering people. By numbering people. The Lord released an angel of war. He started striking their soldiers. The army and the people started dying. And David cried unto the Lord. And said, Lord, I would rather fall in your hands. It was in your hands. There is mercy. There is Allow me not to fall in the hands of me. And the prophet God came to him. And said, go build an altar. On the threshing floor of Aruna. For your own information, you will not see it. The threshing floor of Aruna is the exact place. Don't you go to the Abraham was pointed to Abraham. The exact place where Abraham built an altar and sacrificed his son. The same place. Let's leave David. That is see David. Let's leave David. That is see David. First Chronicles. Let's speak. Solomon. Mambo Solomon. And then Solomon, Papa Sabri, verse one. Papa Chapa Chapa. And then Solomon, Solomon started to build the temple of the Lord on the threshing floor of Aruna. The exact place where David built a temple. The exact place where Abraham built an altar. The exact place where Melch sent it. When that thing happens, it leaves its space. Blessed are those who know how to go back to the place. Blessed are they who go back to the 
Blessed is a church that follows its way back to the mountain. Blessed is a brother in this generation who knows his way back to heaven. This is the reason why we come here to remind you there is yet another mountain among us all. It comes back again. I said it comes back again. When you step in the place, it comes back again. When you step in the place, it happens again. When you step in the place, it happens again. When you step in the place, it happens again. When you step in the place, it happens again. You step on the mountain, the spirit of the place jumps on you. I love this mountain. I love this mountain. I said I love this mountain. I love this mountain. I love this mountain. There is healing in this mountain. There is healing in this mountain. You know what gives us confidence? It once happened. You know why we say this today? It once happened. The fact that it happened, it left its ex on the place. Hey. Hey. There is still deliverance on the mountain of the Lord. Because it once happened. The fact that it happened in the past is a proclivity for it to repeat itself. It will happen again. I said it will happen again. Let's it will happen again. I said it will happen again. It doesn't matter when it happens. You were not there. David was not there. When Caleb went up the mountain. But God said, take it. As 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 there are people who are pressed down by time. Time sometimes can be very cruel. Time can be very cruel. I said time can be very cruel. Because time has a tendency of telling you things that are not. Yeah. Time has a tendency can tell you you are about to die. Yeah. 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 When death has not yet spoken, time can tell you you are behind me. And at the end of the day, when you hear the voice of time, you go around telling people, I'm now behind time. Look at them and say, sometimes time is very cruel. It can share a sermon with you. And when it does share a sermon with you, you sit down and write a will. Because time have spoken. I'm looking for people, a Caleb generation, who defy every message. The message of time. The man says, I was 40. When it was spoken. Now I am 85. Time is already spoken. And 85 is already spoken. And 85 
five, you cannot bear children. Abraham, Abraham, you can bear child. Abraham, you can bear child. Abraham, you can bear Time is always speaking. But listen to what the Bible says. Abraham believed God. Abraham believed God. Even in the midst of the noises. My God. And you see, Mudona, when you take a step of faith, the Bible will tell you, Joshua, what the minister was saying, Joshua called him, Joshua and he said, come here. Uh, Come here. We are bad. At 85. 85. You are not yet late. You are not yet late. You are not yet late. It's like Joshua is saying, Joshua, Joshua Anoti. Surely you should have done this. At you won't die. I won't go to sit out in the 40s. But now you are coming to me. Wow, at 85. Nevertheless, Zakadaru. Nevertheless, Zakadaru. I will still do Ndichaita. to you what I should have done when you were 40. And when I do that, when I do that, what you should have achieved at 40, you are still going to achieve it at 85. So time is not a factor here. Then Joshua looked at him. Joshua and Obama told us, I said, come old man. I got to we have done. He come. Do we have done. What the man of God read. And Joshua. Joshua. Blessed Caleb. Do we have done. This is what was supposed to have been done. Those are the ones who have done. Those are the ones who have done. Because Joshua, Joshua was given an instruction by Moses. Now Moses leave his man his mountain. We are here, servants of the Lord in this church. Because we heard God say, leave this church. It's mountain. So here we have come. We are speaking like Joshua. Uh, Caleb, come. Caleb, we are. I will lay my hands on you. When I lay my hands on you, I am giving you your Hebron. And Caleb, Caleb bowed before Joshua. The guys were of the same age, by the way. But when Caleb wanted Oreb, he disregarded same age spirit. Oh, he looked said to me, church, there is the same age spirit in the house of God. When Caleb understood that it is him who was instructed by Moses the servant of the Lord. It doesn't matter we are of the same age, but today I am bowing before him. And it is his hands that 
Joshua. That are going to be late. You are attempting to link up up sort of Listen to me, church. If you will never bow your knee, you will never receive. I will be from that spirit. You came to pray tonight. Oh, I will be from that spirit. You came to pray tonight. Because we had him. Praise the worship team, we had them. Yeah. Say, go to this church. Yeah. Give them the amount. Yeah. We came with your mountain. Yeah. I said, we came with your mountain. Yeah. Hey, we came with your mountain. Yeah. We came with your mountain. Yeah. We came with your mountain. Yeah. Tomorrow night yeah. will be our last night here. Yeah. But listen to me carefully. As it is, we come here yeah. with your mountain. Yeah. Do I have takers in the house? We are not going to, to make noise. We are not going to make noise. We are saying, Caleb, come. The spirit of time must not hold you back. The spirit of time must not push you down. The spirit of your deadness must not push you down. Approach the altar and let hands be laid on you. Receive your mountain. Do I have takers in the house? I don't know why you are still there. I don't know why you are still sitting. We are about to lay hands on people tonight. We come here with your mountain. Your horror is here tonight. The same age spirit is holding somewhere. Some is getting hold of the same age spirit. We are not going to make noise tonight. Your mountain is here. I don't care what has happened. I don't care how many times you tried. I don't care what the devil has said. I don't care what the world is saying. I don't care what, is don't care what, is what your situation is like. I don't care what your conditions are like. I said tonight, your mountain is here. The Lord has remembered you. You should not attend till I go to. Which city must I visit? I heal the Lord tonight. Go unto Hebron. As you are here in the presence of the Lord. As you are here in the presence of the Lord. Close your eyes and lift up your hands. Close your eyes and lift up your hands. And raise your voice unto the Lord. Come on everybody. Raise your voice to the Lord. Come on here I am. Give me my territory. Give me my territory. Give me my territory. Give me my inheritance. Give me my territory. Oh my God, my God, my God, my God. I'm just here to release. Ah, 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 I'm going to listen. That mountain is so